Hello. Welcome to Glitch City. The dystopian future that has more open bars than the United States currently. And now that I got that joke out of the way, hi. How is everybody? So, funny story. Uh, I was going to play more Fist of the North Star tonight. But, uh, I really think I might have injured myself again! I, see, when I told you it was a funny story, I lied. It's actually not a funny story. It's a sad and frustrating story. But there it is. Hey, yo, dude, what's up? Aw, oh, shit, dude! But it's good that I'm injured, because yeah, that means we can play a visual novel and I don't have to use my hand. Um, mm, we're, uh, good, my thing's here. That's right, we were doing it a day at a time. It makes the streams really short, but that's probably for the best. Honestly, so I don't overstrain my voice or whatever. They're nice little bite-sized streams. A hey, check it, so COVID's in the air, but I went to work two days in a row. That shit lit. Oh, same though. But I also don't... First of all, I already practice social dis distancing in my everyday life outside of work. Okay. Second of all, uh, my job consists of me being in a back room by myself all day, so I can kind of get away with going to work right now as long as I don't go anywhere else. I am kind of concerned that we are still open, though, because my I'm the only employee at my job. My boss and his wife are both, um, like, an elderly couple, so I do worry about them, especially because we're still running. They run the storefront. And I'm like, may, at the very least, maybe we should not take cash, because money is gross <laughs> for the time being, but ooh, I don't know, man. But all I can do is my own part, and that involves me just going about my everyday life, which is only going to work and then going home and not seeing anyone ever. Which I was already doing, so, like, it all works. Um... God, I love that shirt that says slut. I wish I could change my character into it and just wear it to work. You never see her, because everything- it's first person view, but I would know, and that would make me feel better. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I should probably read the the news in this, just because it gives you that that good lore shit. Yeah, the slut shirt is amazing. Are you familiar with this game? Because there are a couple of people that have been in, but it's been a little while since I last streamed it, so I can't remember who's familiar and who's not. Um. But if anything, this game is certainly weird and interesting. You 100%ed it? Oh, dope. Oh, maybe whenever I get to the point where I can make the secret drink, you can tell me what it is. Because I know there's a secret drink, but I don't know. That's all I know. I don't know anything about it. If I have to wait to do it or what. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I did read this about the earthquake. Wait. I already read it? Okay, no wait, I didn't read this one. I read the earthquake one though, okay. So after numerous protests held around the city, which are caused by an ongoing economic and safety crisis, Glitch City's Prime Minister, Quincy, has made it clear that if rioters take another civilian life, he'll personally write a law to ban all kinds of public manifestations. That sounds not cool. This simply can't go on, Quincy told AE during a call. They only want to destroy public property. They're actively sabotaging our efforts to recover a beautiful city, and I've decided that if they cause another civilian casualty, then I'll do everything in my power to ban protests. Fuck your rights. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. The White Knights will have full authorization to use maximum force. This sounds like a great idea. Quincy will be running for a second term next year. I sure hope he doesn't win. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Yo, Dystopia, what's up? This is one of my favorite games. Oh, dude, nice. 
I forgot how to make the drink. It's been a, a long time. The, it's a Maui drink? Oh, Moai. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> That's more than I knew about it before. I don't... Do you know when this game came out? Because sometimes it is uncomfortably commentary on, like, current day events. But I think this game came out a little while ago. Um... Which, I guess, if it came out... It's been out in the past four years, so I guess, whatever. Anyway. This game is written by Venezuelans. Oh my god! Okay, that makes sense. That makes 100% sense. That's a big yikes. Anyway. You can taste the despair. It, it's slowly becoming uh, a taste that I'm familiar with personally in America. Who is Alice Rabbit? Judging by the complexity of the methods they've used to breach all kinds of protected software, some are beginning to think that this is in fact a group and not a single individual. That's what I would assume. So, is Alice Rabbit a group after all? Not the, not the first time this would be a thing. More than half a century ago, a notorious group of hackers rose to prominence, and they called themselves a not- Ha ha ha, they weren't even a threat to real protected data- <laughs> December 17. Oh shit. Wait, what date? What's the date? I don't even know. Uh Oh, it's the 15th. Yikes. Ooh, I got money. Should I... The love for titty titty hacker? I'm gonna go out and, and just go ahead and admit that I'm unfamiliar. I'm familiar of the situation in Venezuela, but that is not a name that I know. Um, should I buy something? I can't remember. I know I should be saving money. But I kind of just want to spend all my money. <laughs> Um, ooh, a shoulder massager. I could use that right now. Ha 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 ha. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> Help. Uh, Latinos are horny. Um. Oh, that's right. I wanted to get games. I want to be an epic gamer. Did I already buy the... Yeah, the PC 9X. <gasps> Oh shit, it's $350. I can afford that, right? Probably. Don't. Somebody talk me out of it, because I'm gonna do it. Oh, hey Kafka, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I have bought the video game. Can I play the video game? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, okay. I don't know if I should do this or not. The whole point of playing a visual novel was because my arm is killing me and I don't want to stress it by playing video games. Oh, Eki, what's up? Good luck. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's a bullet hell. Wait, how do I shoot? How do I shoot? How do I shoot? How do I shoot? There it is. Okay, I can- I can kinda- I'm not very good at bullet hells, especially because my chaotic eyeball covers, like, a good chunk of the corner of the screen. I will do my best. Huh. Ah. Oh, I know, I missed some. Ah. Eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Wow, that was that was a graze. I definitely should have gotten damage from that, probably. Oh. Okay, well now that I know it's a bullet hell, I will not, because that's definitely not gonna. Maybe when I'm not in pain, I'll try that again. Been a while. How goes? It goes. Uh, I was just reiterating that I have injured my left arm again. So 
We're playing non-strenuous visual novel games where you don't really have to play much. Let's go to work. Good evening. I don't remember any of the voices that I did. They'll come back to me eventually. Oh, hey there. Whoa, I've never seen you before. You're new, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, she's my type too. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, I don't know. Leon? Leon? I don't know how to say it. It's, it's Jillian. I realize that they're supposed to be Jill and Jill, but I keep calling him Gil. It didn't occur to me. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way and asked her if she wanted to tag along. I hope you don't mind. Eh, sure. Make yourself at home. Oh, Leonidas. Yes, I can read the English. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I also hope you guys have all been well. Stay safe out there, my dudes. Yes, I speak English. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Um, Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. All right, thanks. She's really cute, guys. Help. I think I'm in love. I met a cutie last time, too. There's just cuties. Cuties everywhere. Um... Do -do 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 -do. Let's do... Every day is a night? No. I don't remember how to- oh, that's right. Uh... Ooh, I remember I really like Drive Me Wild. If you guys got, uh, recommendations, go ahead and toss them in, because I'll do it. I did- I was trying to listen to all of them, but I think I'm starting to get to that point until I unlock new stuff. I'm about to yeet myself to sleep. Yeah, this will be a short stream. I'm not too far behind. Have a good slept, though. Yeah, she got that hair flip. Uh, it's I'm I'm into like the the glasses librarian type of th those are my anime waifus. Put a lab coat on them or some glasses, and like a turtleneck, like a tight turtleneck. I'm done. I'm done. Um, do, 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 do. We'll do Drive Me Wild because I love that one. Um, Will you remember me? Ugh. I'm sorry instantly. Um, Didn't I do this one before? I think I did, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Did I do nighttime maneuvers? I don't know. Oh, I think this one's new. Mm. Oh man, I think I ran out of new ones. I had one last hurrah with the peeps before the quarantine. Oh yeah, is it getting really intense where you're at? I think I saw that. There, I think that should be good, right? I don't know why I always just like to start off with Welcome to Valhalla. It's just become like one of those things I have to do. Like it feels wrong not to. It's like, do you ever set those rules for yourself when, like, when you're a kid and you're playing a game by yourself? Like, 
I don't know how what else to compare it to other than when I was a kid and I played Earthbound and I like I had what I believed was my own house in every single town because there's an empty house in every town in Earthbound just about I'm pretty sure like I don't know I made up these really weird rules for myself as a kid every time I played a game so it's kind of it's kind of like that No, oh, hang on a second. Just a little bit lower. Because, like, the jams are good. But I forgot how loud this game is. It's time to mix drinks and change lives, y'all! What was that? Oh, uh, just something that they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands behind our backs whenever somebody came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To G... G... Uh... I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kiramiki girl came in here yesterday before her concert, actually. That was the cutie. She's a big old cutie. Oh, yeah. Now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. Get it? It's like Blink. This stoic looking duo, right? Yeah, those. <sighs> Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. Oh, I see. You want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for what? A few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. Wow, Jill, that's rude. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know? It's rude. I just realized the TV's not on. Let me fix that. Oh hell yeah, the match is on. Go red guy, beat the shit out of him. Aw, oh, hell yeah. A Damien, you say. Those are the busy types. Ugh. This so I think I've heard this song before, too. The soundtrack is so fucking good, though. Help. Yeah, like, it's good. It's bad that nobody's making any money right now. Like, I'm still... My work is still open, but um, who knows how long that'll be for, anyways. And, like I said, limited interaction with people anyway in my business. But, uh... Just hang in there and, you know, take advantage of the time to, to get some, some other work done. It's a good time to do creative work and shit. Oh, dude, Eki, you're making a game? Dope. I'm way into settings like this, so... Color me interested. Anyways, sorry, I get distracted so easily. That's the worst thing about visual novels, especially when it's just me instead of me and Sid, is that, like, I'll get distracted and read chat for, like, a solid two minutes at a time and then come back to the game and get to the game and ignore chat for, like, five minutes at a time. It's really hard to balance without getting confused about what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, go ahead and plug yourself, Kafka. If you like fat anime titties, Kafka's the one you want. Or, you know, just drawing commissions in general, but Kafka also is real good at those fat anime titties, just let me tell you. But yeah, uh... If you... If you're comfortable dropping a link to something where we can find the game that you're working on or where it could be when it's done, go ahead and do that too. 
2020 is the, the, the year of getting it fucking done, man. Like, I realize it's kind of a faux pas to self-promote in somebody else's stream, but I don't give a shit. My, my, my mindset for 2020 is like, get that bread, promote yourself, do it. It's not rude in my channel. I don't care. As long as you don't come in and are like, hey, fuck this streamer. Come and watch me. I'm live right now because that is still pretty rude. Anyways. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, Fatal Frame, you know? The video game? It's pretty good, right? I love Fatal Frame. For all the pics you have of your boss. <laughs> the ones filling your phone's memory. Oh shit, she's onto me. Some sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? <laughs> so it is true. Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You! Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <sighs> sure. Oh my god. So far, the night has started off perfect, and she's my- Alma's my favorite so far. Like, if we're going waifus, it's Alma. <laughs> I need her to cyber peg me, not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh shit, let me see if I can remember these shortcuts. Oh, it's gonna be weird because I'm reaching across my keyboard with, with my right hand instead of my left. Um. Aha, I did remember. Look at, I'm so smart. Haha, uh. <laughs> I was going to make a, a joke and then the description of the drink did it for me. You and me, baby, eat nothing but mammals. I'm gonna make it a big drink. So that's four, 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 and eight. Cause I got a feeling that she will be interesting drunk. Ooh, sour, classy, and vintage. That's my kind of drink. There you go. This is one big ba- Are you hitting on me? <laughs> you wish. Yes. Hmm, <clears throat> so. Who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car is what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. What's wrong with LARPing? Oh, I guess Jill doesn't know what LARPing is. Hold on, let me just play dumb for a second. LARP? What does that mean? Live action role playing? Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer. Or like a military organization or something. Or like a corporation. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll around in the mud, and fuck in the open? Yo, that sounds like a live-action Kalasar from Game of Thrones. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... See, she'd make an amazing white mage, just throw a white robe over her, you know what I'm saying? Or any mage, for that matter. Throw a big flappy hat on her, boom. I do have a Discord. Oh yeah, dude, send me that Discord. I mean, I'm super inactive. I'm in a, mil a bunch of discords that I never post in, but I do check them. Espe I'm in especially in several uh, indie game 
discords that I'm like monitoring the production of. Dude, speaking of discords of indie games and stuff that I watch like a hawk, I cannot wait for Knuckle Sandwich. Like, we're, I can't, I'm counting the days for me to be able to play that on here because it's going to be good. Devcore with spoilers or normal? Let's go normal, just in case anybody else wants to join too. Just make it a, like a, a general invite. Yeah, she'd be a cyber mage. That's totally a thing. You just gotta have an open mind, babe. That's your problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still just getting to know him. Just think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. <sighs> A year ago. It was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. Well, okay. I'm I'm as actual, so, you know, whatever. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into the closet ages ago. Fuckboy? What? People have different needs and priorities. It's called a Hitachi. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Okay, Alma has a point. I quipped about asexuality, but I'm not actually like full on 100%. And also, you gotta have somebody to cuddle with, you know? This is the good shit right here. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. It's the best shit in the world. Dozing off, knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? <laughs> Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? You know that my Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking. Or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? A woman after my own heart. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Well, let's see. Promo drinks fit that bill easily. What's the weirdest drink? Oh, wait, would that secret drink work? Is this where you use the secret drink? How do I make it? All I know is there's a secret drink. It's driving me insane. Mountain Dew wine, Gatorade ice. Done. Aw, oh, shit. Bump gun it. <laughs> Jeremy, please. Um, I know, all I know is that it's one that's not listed. The Piano Man and Piano Woman, I think, are like, they're promo drinks, but they're like the typical promo drinks. So like these three, I don't, I've made a Grizzly Temple. I don't think I've made a Zen Star or a Bloomlight yet. But I really want to know what the secret drink is. Is there any way that you get the recipe or do you just have to mix random stuff and experiment like i don't know if there's like a, a like somebody drops a hint or gives you the recipe if you do all the stuff right or if it's like a after you beat the game thing i 
Oh, wait, I already did that one. Um, like, I'm tempted to look it up, but I also, if I can learn to do, make it... If the game drops the hint to me in some way of how to make it, then I don't want to, like, ruin that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the one that's one of every ingredient. I mean, I guess you don't really lose money for experimenting? Oh, yeah, I've been wondering, too, what slot one and slot two means. Like, what is slot two? Is that, like, if you get more than one drink? I think that happened once before. Ooh. Should I look it up, guys? I'm sorely tempted. Um. I bet I'm gonna make a. Look it too up instead. That film never gets seen. Wait, did that actually... Did it too actually come out? You know what? I don't... I'm gonna be the uncool guy. I'm a girl gamer anyway. I'm not real. I can look up secret drinks because everybody assumes that I'm just a fake gamer anyway, right? I'm just kidding. Uh, but I really want to know. Yes! Uncool guy! Yeah, what was that, um... that old character that I used to do sometimes? Ivan, Ivan the incel. You're not a real girl gamer. Steve's coming and looking up cheats. Okay, wait, here it is. Okay, I got it. Eh. Eh. Two of these. Okay, but like, this is evidence of a real gamer girl as in just a gamer, but the gamer is female. And not the stereotype. Thanks for being legit. You're welcome! <laughs> Streamer, where are the feet pics? <laughs> feet pics. Turn on your webcam! I want to see your titties. <laughs> wow, is that really it? Like, it's not- there's no ice, it's not aged or anything? It seems like such a simple drink. Holy shit, but it's legit. It's really that really happened. Dude, it looks dope. Okay, I'm gonna give it to her. What's weirder than a secret drink, right? Here, check out the stuff I looked up on the internet. <laughs> nope, this looks pretty common to me. I can spot a fake girl gamer from a mile away. Try again next time, scrub. I'll take it anyway, but no tip for this one. Dude, it's actually on fire. You're right. <laughs> what the hell? Your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a brantini. And then something like a cobalt velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep in a routine. Hmm, maybe. Sometimes complacency is just too much to bear, especially when you're trying to get out of the routine of your own life. You know what I'm saying? I'm convinced she's into all the fetishes and nothing was the correct answer. You know what? You might be right. <laughs> maybe nothing would have been... Nothing would have worked for her. She would never be satisfied. 
She's the kind of woman that's just trying to fill this, this like, void in her soul. And she just, like, does all this random shit and nothing works. It's a mood. Anyways, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on this whole Alice Rabbit thing? <laughs> that's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared for just occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. They were on the news briefly, there was something kind of news piece about this woman, and she hung up curtains, and she got a dog, and... I don't know what that was all about, and then the internet had a field day and made memes about it. Anyways... Everyone that participated started using the same name. And they wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. But really, they were a bunch of 16-year-old children who didn't know the first thing about what they wanted. This whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when the idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. It's basically Reddit, I guess, since... Anon came first and then Reddit was kind of like the answer to that, but Reddit's more tame. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists? Oh, hell no. And <laughs> I don't care anyway. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI? <laughs> That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists. But it's also really muddied overall. It's basically a memeplex. Which is funny considering, you know, memes. But really, it is a memeplex. In the actual definition of the word. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And that's how it feels for me. And it's all thanks to that damn Alice Rabbit thing. I see... But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for way too long. Oh. Wow. I must be an idiot. <laughs> Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No! It's just the, it's just the opposite. <laughs> At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. <laughs> That's not necessarily a no, though. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. Uh, I'm... I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. I relate to Jill a little too much sometimes. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know? Yeah, that's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. 
Like, I'm, I have insomnia. Sometimes I don't go to sleep until like 5, 6 a.m. You are hopeless. Oh, snap. The boy is back. I looked up the secret drink, uh, and she was not impressed by it. She basically called me out on cheating. She didn't. She was just like, "This. what is this? I'm not interested in this. Anyways, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Oh, finally. That's the Alma I know. Can do. That's insomnia? No, nah, well, insomnia... Eh, it's hard to describe because it comes and goes in waves. Sometimes I can have like a normal sleeping schedule and then I'll go for stints of like two or three weeks where every single night I try to go to bed at a regular hour and I'll always like stay awake and just lay in bed and I'll wind up getting like two, three hours of sleep maximum. The longest I've ever stayed up actually is a whopping 82, was it 82 or 84 hours? Jeremy would know. I got sick. I started seeing and uh, hearing things. I think it was 84 hours. I know I was just past the 80, 80 hour mark and I, I got very sick. Um, but that that is extreme. That only happened one time. Um, and I highly suspect it was fueled by PTSD. Pre previous, other than that situation, it, it's like occasionally I'll not be able to sleep for like 24 to 40 hours sometimes. Every a couple of times a year it'll happen. But then other than that, it's just like I'll go on random like a couple of week long periods where I'll be lucky to snatch three hours of sleep a night. But it's not all the time. Like, thankfully right now I'm good. Uh, Briantini. Oh, snap, that's a lot. I should probably be, like, I know you can get medication or something to help with it, but, like, I don't like sleeping medication. I always wake up groggy the next day and it sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then age and mixed. But yeah, I mean, I used to intentionally pull all nighters a lot when I was in my early 20s because of, uh, I was into cosplay, and when we got to crunch time for costumes, I would just pull all nighters. But then, like, it became an actual problem where even when I needed to sleep, I couldn't. Hi, Sheenie! How are you? Oh my gosh! Most people in this Omni don't respond well to sleep meds anyway. Yeah, it just makes me feel awful. I don't remember it working particularly well, like any of the times I've ever tried, and then I'd wake up the next day feeling... like... like drugged. Which I guess you are, but... Ugh. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini, but here at Valhalla, like every other bar on the planet, we don't carry, uh, olive juice. We just don't. And we never have vermouth. <laughs> I didn't even read! <laughs> That's funny. It really does have to do with the vermouth. That's funny. The problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. Jill. Oh shit, she's drunk. This is the first time this has actually happened. I don't think I've gotten anybody drunk so far. Hmm? 
Jill. <laughs> That'd be 4A6966. Nice. <laughs> or zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero zero one zero one one zero one one zero zero uh holy shit i actually got really far into that without getting it mixed up i'm so proud of myself i couldn't do the last one i have i have issues with uh flipping numbers dyslexia and stuff i'm actually really proud of myself cool in binary you have 15 ones did you celebrate your qu your 15th birthday party hey jill um i don't think so what about your sweet 16 did you do anything special for that nah and your 18th? Or your 21st? No, none of those. I saw no point in making them any different from any other birthday. My 21st birthday was horrible. Day five of being out of both antidepressants. Kiddo broke my glasses yesterday and I think I pooped out a lung. Aw, oh, shit. Two of those things are relatable to me. I don't wear glasses. But also, I, well, never mind. I don't actually take antidepressants, but I know what it's like to be in me like medication limbo, where you, your entire system is used to the daily routine, and then you're suddenly out. And then your body's like, "What's happening?" And then you get more like a refill, and then your body's like, "What's happening?" <laughs> oh shit! It's Shooter Q. What's up, my dude? Welcome to, uh, Drunk Waifus. Oh, also Sid's not here, but Sid gives their love to everyone in chat. Just for anybody who's like newer to this channel, there, there are two of us, but Sid is currently currently needs to have all of their wisdom teeth pulled, and it's not good. It's bad. So, being on stream and talking a lot is painful. Oh, no, 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 you got it right. CID, that's the Sid. <laughs> in, the, in my head and the photo I keep in my wallet. <gasps> Yeah, I think all I think all of Sid's wisdom teeth are impacted. Yeah, pretty sure it's all of them. It's it's not fun. I feel so bad. We're trying to speed it up as per, as much as we can, but especially with the way everything is right now, it's not something we can do immediately. So Sid hasn't been around for a little bit, and I think it'll still be another month or so. Yeah, it sucks. We're doing the best we can for Sid. And I will tell them that you guys are sending your loves. Wait, well, I've already forgotten what we were talking about. They're different. What's happening? Oh, birthdays, birthdays, birthdays. I was talking about how my 21st birthday sucked ass. It was the worst. You celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point where society tells you that you can fuck. <laughs> that you're starting to look appealing enough for other people to consider fucking you. It's also the hypocritical way they tell you, you can, but you shouldn't fuck. Um, I guess that's one way of seeing it. <laughs> Although there's no point in celebrating this, it's so late. There was this one time in middle school where I got fed up with a teacher. I was in 8th grade, but the idiot kept treating me like a child. So one day, I adjusted my shirt and I pushed my boobs together with my arms and I told him, Teacher, you do know you could get me pregnant, right? Whoa. The poor bastard couldn't look at me for the rest of the year. I also got suspended, scolded, and grounded, but it was totally worth it. I mean, that's, that's the appropriate response. 
I was a blossoming woman. I wasn't gonna stand for it. This is why I like numbers. Getting her drunk was a bad idea, actually, I think. Numbers don't await your sexual waking and just tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect you to form a family or give them grandkids. You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? <laughs> no, but I care that you're drunk. <laughs> I am most certainly not. Then spell your name. 41, 6C, 6 6D, 6 61. There. Not in hexadecimal. A. Um, uh, I'll call you a cab. I'll be fine. I'm going home now. My brother in law is close by. He told me to call him when I was done. Bye, Jill. Take care out there. Don't get in trouble. I should have called you a cab. Yeah, you don't know. 27 might care. Numbers are ruthless. You never know. What? Hello? Ow? Oh, god damn it. It's Mr. Donovan. I fucking hate this guy. Wait, no. Drunk waifu Alma, come back. Wait, it's okay. We can talk about your weird sexual awakening again. I just don't want to talk to Donovan. I hate him. Like my papa used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. Just don't touch things. Don't touch things that don't belong to you, including people. Don't touch strangers. Don't touch. Just don't. Just don't touch. Keep your hands to yourself. In general, just do it. I fucking hate this guy. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? <laughs> I'm a man that can't contain himself when you see something he likes, kid. I fucking hate this guy. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field of my summer house. Thanks. A bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. Is this guy the owner? Oh no, he's not. He's He runs the newspaper that you read. Um, in between days at work. Uh, your owner is... You have a crush on your owner, and it's really cute, actually. Um, she hasn't shown up yet today. This guy just sucks ass. He's just, like, a big, big shot newspaper... Corporation owner, or whatever. Hey, don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Got to tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. He's also boring as fuck and only ever gets beer. The usual, he says. And by the usual, he means another fucking beer. Which I can't believe that... I have to mix beer. Does Mr. Donovan want pictures of Spider-Man? See, I would like him more if he did that. If he came into this bar and was like, where are my pictures of Spider-Man? I would like him. Yeah, $200 for beer. Inflation's a bitch. I want to give him like an incorrect drink just to piss him off and make him go away. But I learned the other day that he doesn't go away when you piss him off. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to get him drunk either because I already hate him and when people are drunk, like, their filter just goes away and I do not want this man to be unfiltered. But what if I ruin his meeting? Wait, hang on, guys. Wait. If I get him super, super plastered... I could ruin his meeting. Should I get him crazy drunk? Why am? He'll be an insufferable ass, but at least I'll have ruined a business opportunity for him. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah. Let's 
So two, four. I just have to double the recipe. Uh. That's right, right? Yeah, have a big ass beer, you dumb fuck. Yeah, sure, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? I thought maybe you would just leave forever. Why do you keep coming back here? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson, and I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, what? Blackmail? What? Wait, I can't remember what voice I gave this guy. Was I giving, starting to give him like a Brooklyn accent? Was that what was happening? I don't even know. You'd be surprised the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. You mean... Like, people who own magazines? Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Oh. Hey, that big titted Lilum was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No! Oh, come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here or anything. I got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She she had she said nothing could that could be used against her or that you don't already know. Fine. Hey kid, do you think Lilim have nipples? Uh I mean most of, I think some of them are actually in 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 like sex work, so yeah, I guess they would, wouldn't they? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while I was interviewing that singer Lilim chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that design them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilim look good? A bunch of guys and, and, and a lesbo engineer wonder if the latest model's vagina is good enough. I hate this guy. Have I mentioned I hate this guy? I hate this guy so much. He is the worst. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? I ask you with no emotion in my voice. <laughs> and I'm walking over here. Yeah, I'm like gradually, every time I read something of his, like I just gravitate back to my motherland of New York. Can I set him on fire twice? God, I wish. Like, I if there's any secret way, if, I don't normally like appeal to backseating, but if anybody knows a way, a secret way that I can make drinks a certain way to get this guy to fucking go away, please tell me, because I really hate him. I just want him to go away forever. Oh my God, wait, Jeremy, can you drop a link to that in the chat, please, by the way? Jeremy is making a reference to um, a particular, I think it's a TikTok. I'm hip now. I don't actually browse TikTok, but it's my favorite TikTok ever, I think. Put in the Konami code. <laughs> I repeat, gun. I don't have a gun. This like dystopian setting is getting more and more like authoritarian at, by the second. So I'm just kind of like, are guns even allowed? If it's based off of Venezuela, like, I don't know what that's like. 
Oh shit, you found it on YouTube? Okay, well, thank you for posting it. It's one of my favorite. Please go click that. Go watch that. It's one of my favorite things right now. Just the way that the way that it's fucking the way that it's executed is hilarious to me still. I can't watch it without laughing. Anyways, You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Uh, no. Not really. There's some of the group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. <laughs> Interesting piece. An even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt and full of mob bosses or something like that. Yeah, I think I've heard about that somewhere. Or some. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna humor you. What about them? They sent a message to some of the outlets saying that they have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I <laughs> know, right? All right, kid, give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. Oh my god, yes, thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Just the way that it's like, nipples, just like, it kills me every time. I can, there's like maybe, there's less than five TikToks on the planet that I'm like way into. And that's probably number one. Um, I can't believe he ordered something that's not beer. Anyways, I'm going to double it. I'm still intent on completely ruining his meeting. If I can get him drunk, I'm gonna do it. Three. And yeah, that's it. And it's blended, okay. Aw, oh, fuck, I just realized that there's no Karmatrine in it, so that it's not alcoholic. God damn it. Whatever. End not only this man's career, but his existence. See, men like this, if you end their career, you do end their existence. That's just how sad they are. So, you know, it's only a matter of time. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I heard this is uh, Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the uh, undefeated of the West again. <laughs> More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air. Wait, bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I hear she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Eh, I can't remember, I was too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. I don't know. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. But that sounds more like a, an uns unsubstantiated rumor. <laughs> more like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, I ask... Thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again, but not too soon. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate that guy. He's gone. He's finally gone. 
Yo, it's a double whammy with Cynthia and Tsunami. What's up, guys? How's it going? That emote fucks me up every time I see it because it looks like an epic of Zekbot character. It looks like Malshut. Um, but it's not. I know it's not, but every time I see it, it makes me think of Malshut. It fucks me up every time. Anyways, how are you guys? How is everybody? It's now apparently safe to keep playing. It wasn't safe before, but it's safe now. I want to die like always. It's the millennial mood. Wait, are you a millennial? I don't remember. Some of you guys are babies. Yeah, I get the. it's the, it is now safe to turn off your computer. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia's a zoomer. You know what? Uh, the wanting to die every day is not a mood that's exclusively millennial. It, it, it definitely applies to zoomers too. It's an overall mood of, of both of our generations. It's something we have in common. You should see my stream layout someday. I can't believe I've never actually caught your, you streaming. I don't know how often you stream, but like, I'm also bad at watching people that like friends and stuff. Not often. That's what I figured. Like, I'm a recluse. Yeah, it's like all of my closest Twitch friends that it, like I became super good friends with, and then like all of the friends that I made as a result of that is like we're all this group of recluses that like stream ever so often and then never get a chance to watch each other's streams. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Yo guys, are you are you guys hyped for the Animal Crossing uh stream stream Aganza? Like I haven't been streaming a lot lately, but once Animal Crossing comes out, it's fucking over for all of you. And by over I mean I'm gonna be streaming it all the time and we're all gonna play together. I'm so excited. Like, we need, if you're not, if we're not already friends, if we're not already, like, Switch friends, you need to get up with me. We need to be friends. I want the last thing I see is to be, it is now safe to turn off your computer. I want that to be on my non-existent tombstone because I don't want to be buried. Uh, but still. On my online epitaph. I think now I've actually listened to every song. You guys got any requests? Wait, no, my, I don't think I've listened to Nighttime Maneuvers. No, no, wait, that was this night. So yeah, that's everything then, right? Play Wonderwall? I said maybe... And after all... Sorry, that's my favorite uh, version of Wonderwall. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, an in-game. If you could import songs into this, that would be incredible. And I would fill it with Katamari music. Um, guess what my switch looks like now? You know I won't be. You know I'm terrible at guessing. Did I do bases? I'm sure I did these. I feel like every day I unlock a song, but I never. I can never tell what it is. It's pink and purple. Aww. Dude, I want that Animal Crossing Switch so badly. Like, that green and blue is so cute. I can't justify it. Not even a little. We didn't even buy our own Switch. That was Kadangus that, like, was ridiculously generous and 
I can't even like thank him enough for that years later because it's it's my switch is like connected to me at all times um what else did I did I unlock anything else wait this one's new isn't it um 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 I feel like a couple of these are new, right? These were mostly empty before, right? It's fucking with me now because now I have no idea what was here and what wasn't. Tense was there for sure, but I don't know about and Showtime, but I don't know about the rest of these. Those were all there. Oscar is apparently trying to go to bed and Mia seems to be agreeing even though she's not going outside as much. I'll probably be trying to sleep through puppies. Good night. Oh, puppies! Oh yeah, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Please don't go out and drink at bars. I promise it's cheaper and more fun to get drunk at home. And happy St. Patrick's Day! And have a cool night. I, uh, I know what you got for Christmas. But Sid doesn't. And and you're the, the best. Can we can I get drunk? No. I mean, no officially. Because you're not of a, a drinking age. Anyways. Oh sweet. Remind me I Mr. Cool Zone. I'll do that in my next uh, Zelda run. I'll name the character Mr. Cool Zone. Anyways, boss, you're back! Oh shit, it's boss. Yeah, sorry for not being here earlier. I don't remember what your voice was at all. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh. Um, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh, so am I fired now? Am I out of a job? Oh, snappity! It's Bajiji! Hi, Bagoo! How are you? I've missed you! And hello, Bajiji chat! I've missed you guys, too! What were you streaming? I think I saw you playing Battletoads earlier? Was I making that up? <laughs> I know, I was just saying earlier about how I've gotten so bad at, like, watching my friends stream lately. I've been so busy and it sucks. We've hardly been streaming ourselves lately and... It, well, especially Sid... Sid is notably not here. Um, because Sid has to have oral surgery on their wisdom teeth and... Being online and talking a lot is very painful for them right now, so... It's just me, by my lonesome. You're playing Battletoads. Hey man, I mean, I don't know how well it aged, but I loved Battletoads when I was a kid. I'm not so sure now, but... But yeah, I. the point is, I've missed you guys. Hello, everyone. It's Hologrammer, and Dracorius, what? It's been amazing so far. Yeah, I, re I have fond memories of playing Battletoads for as much as people like to joke about it. I feel like that's just because of the GameStop thing, though. But yeah, welcome to Valhalla. I injured my arm earlier, so I am restricted currently to playing visual novels and only visual novels. Well, and I guess point-and-click adventure games, because I was thinking about starting up Loom. I was playing Monkey Island with Daniel, but now because of uh, social distancing, I can't invite- I, I shouldn't invite Daniel over to play more Monkey Island at the moment. 
makes me sad. That ways. Apparently our bar is closing? I guess this is relevant. I was also talking to him about you. What? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without the job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Wait, what? I don't know if I've missed something in the past two days of playing this. Why are we closing? <laughs> hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. You want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. What? what? Who? I'm the one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, yes. The levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway. I find it hard to believe that Jill will find a job after all this. Just, who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Oh yeah, they were dropping like weird hints about lore about... And this is spooky, because this game I think came out a few years ago. But it's based off of events that occurred in Venezuela. I guess the devs were Venezuelan. But they mentioned something about riots in Hong Kong, and that was a while ago. And now it's like relevant again. <laughs> but apparently he has something to do with that in the game lore. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir! You guys do know I can hear you, right? Question marks? This place looks familiar? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, hello? Hi! Who are you? <laughs> hello? I like your eye. And you're like, uh, um, 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 ah, oh, shit. What are they called? Barrel curls. Damn. I said that I found my waifu before, but maybe this is the real waifu. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, God. What is Say planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Um, what? Sure? Um... What's she talking about, guys? <laughs> it's the boss bitch? Yes. Sorry, I might have shown my hand there about what my preferences are when it comes to anime waifus. Um... <laughs> Just search. Uh, okay. Um, but I don't know what, um... Let's look around alphabetically. Bad touch. Bleeding Jane. Maybe she's talking about beer. I'm just kidding. Call about velvet. Grizzly Temple, Gut Punch. I'm wondering if it's Piano Woman? Check Piano Woman? Okay. Yeah, that was my first thought, but I wasn't sure. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a Piano Woman if there was a Piano Man. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, I get it. Uh, So it's five of these. Should I give her a big drink? Or is this already considered a big drink? I don't remember what the... Uh, requirements are for a big drink. Three. I think I can double this still, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't. It is considered a big drink. Uh, crap. 
I don't remember how to... There we go. Five, two, three, three, aged, and mixed. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I like the little upside down heart on this drink. It's cute. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know, say, Miss... I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep. In fact, I'm glad that you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, she was the White Knight. Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember her. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. <laughs> Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. Wait, I've got questions about the last two. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Say's as much of a sociable girl as she's a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kirimiki's autograph on that glass? Huh, seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, uh, it is. <laughs> I didn't even really want it, actually. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday just before her concert. Really? I mean... Oh, snap! It's Kylie! Oh, Kylie! Yo, Kylie, did you get a PB? 1530? Oh, 1530? Seriously? Is that for real, real? That's a ridiculous time. Oh my god, girl, congrats. Oh my god. Fourth place, holy crap. That's insane. Dude, what? That's a monster time, holy shit. I'm so fucking happy. And th thanks for the resub too. Also, wait, that reminds me. Jeremy, check our plane tickets. <laughs> Hi, computer boys. I love video games as well. Right now, we're courting a waifu, I think. I don't know. This is a visual novel, but I haven't really determined whether or not this is a dating sim or just like a we're a bartender and waifus come in and drink and then leave. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the deal is. Yeah, shoutouts to Kylie, that 1530. For Sonic 1, right? Because she's been grinding Sonic 1 like crazy lately. So if you like Sonic speedruns or Donkey Kong speedruns, definitely check out Kylie. To Chan. Uh, yay. So uh, I'm in love with this uh, cyber cat girl kind of a lot. Like, I kind of want her to step on me a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, yeah, nice, nice girl, nice girl. Can I see it? Yeah, sure, knock yourself out. Yep, this star-like signature is definitely hers. So your name's Jill, then? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're just filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long... All right. 
Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll take it that was stay? Yes. Will you wait for her, or...? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Wow, she's really busting out the trivia. Like, I have to really think about what these drinks are. Anyways, drink in honor of a good friend. I feel like there was a description I read that was like, isn't that just the piano man? Hang on, wait, let me look. Mm, no. Um, oh, geez. Uh, I remember. One of these. Mm. Was it Grizzly Temple? All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Go through and see what happens. I know I read it, a description of a drink that was, like, in memory of someone. Or maybe it is Piano Man and we just talked about it previously and it's not in the description. See, now that I know how to make that secret drink, I'm like, what's it for? Does it- should I give it to somebody? Because, like, the other chick didn't like it, but, like... I don't want to. I don't want to mess things up with Stella because I really like her. But the next person that comes in, I could probably give it to. Um. Mm hmm. Nope. I'm gonna go uh, with Piano Man as a guest, just on a hunch, because I think that's. I think that's right. It was something like, it was named after, in memory of a guy who, ah, ah, geez, I don't know. Kimmy, should I go to college in California? I mean, yeah, if, if, follow your dreams and stuff. I don't know, I can't tell you how to make your life decisions, but I can tell you that you should do what you think is the best for, like, your, like, set a goal for yourself and just fucking go for it. Should you die? No. Two, three. Shit. Um. Wait, let me make sure that's right. Two, three, five, five, and three on the rocks. Mixed. This game is super comfy. I just noticed like the weird key in the glass on the piano, man. That is weird. Boy, I hope I'm right. Is this the one that you had in mind? <laughs> Yay! I'm smart! I'm a real gamer girl, Dad! Thank you. Hey, so may I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not, or... uh, At least I don't think so, but I am kind of curious about that too. Is it like a sharing gun, or does it, what, is, does it have a function? Whatever. Anyways, I don't get to ser serve many cat boomers, so it's something that I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. Sorry if I overstepped. You're real cute, though. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. <laughs> well, I guess I read a bit more than the recipe book, and I kind of sort of paid attention-ish, kind of, to what people were saying beforehand. Mm -mm. I like most of my customers, just not that one guy that runs the magazine. He sucks. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but... 
Not in the usual way. I, I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. That's a lie. I hate beer. I don't drink that much outside of, like, wine? I like wine. But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs? It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. <laughs> My Neko girls, I know, right? Like, her little ear twitch is so cute. Wait, hang on, I'm bored with this TV chain. Like, let me change the channel. Oh, yeah, the fight. Hassy Zero. Yawn. Is there nothing else on TV right now? Cool! We'll go with the cool channel. Do you collect them or anything like that? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I started with my grandpa's collection and have been slowly growing it. It's kind of like a, a, a cheesy, tacky dorm room inside my apartment. You know when you were in your, your like, late teens, early 20s, where you, like, collected alcohol bottles and, like, decorated your apartment with them? <laughs> it's kind of like that. <sighs> it's been hard because of my debts, but I managed, little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. Ah, I see. It's say, so sorry I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in a rush hour traffic too, and I figured that walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. What? Uh, what? Climb down? What? What are you talking? What are you talking about? Oh, snaps, it's Cinder and Hulk busted. Hello. I took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. <laughs> Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... <laughs> You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leave us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best for whomever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. I'm glad somebody called her out because I was just thinking. <laughs> Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Hey, thanks. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers, then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What, like half a glass each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Fringe weavers? Okay. Man, I really want to serve that secret drink. Uh, but I don't know if they'll like it. Man. But there's two of them, so it's like a bigger chance that one of them might like it. What do you guys think? Should I take a risk? I'm like, if the drink is secret, then it must be for something, right? Somebody has to like it. Hmm. Wow, this is really like almost all just chromatrine, which is alcohol. It's like drinking alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. All right, all right, all right. For for these two, I don't want to fuck things up, so I'll just go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do. And then the next person that comes in, um, they're going to get the special drink because I want to know if it does anything. 
Aha! So this is for when you get two drinks at once. I was wondering. Damn it. Uh, aged and mixed. There. Okay. Two fringe weavers. So? This one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when you're using your... For the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Aw, oh, snap, Highland. Yeah, we've been doing Valhalla for a little while now. But especially right now. I was super into the Fist of the North Star game, and then I hurt my arm again, so I'm... I am grounded to visual novels, so it's, it's back to Valhalla for me. And adventure games. Should I say that Boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button, or...? Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? Is the blue hair a knight or a cyborg? I think she... I, I think she's like... She's a knight, but it's like... They're like an authoritarian figure of some kind. They're basically like the police force, sort of, kind of? I don't know. Busted your arm, what did you do? Oh, I... This is I, basically an aggravation of an injury I already had. Uh, I messed up my rotator cuff last year, um, and as a result, like, my entire left arm is kind of messed up. Uh, I don't know what I did recently, but I agitated it. Uh, so my entire left arm is just, like, messed up. It's not too bad, but I know that playing games is something that agitates it, and... Uh, my job is very intense with my hands. I'm a tailor, so I sew all day long. So I, I kind of have to limit myself to what ma is important, which is I can't stop working, but I can limit what I do in my spare time that agitates it. Thankfully, since I did get treatment for it in the past year, hopefully it'll like heal up much faster. Anytime it I get agitated like this, it usually I recover a lot quicker ever since I got like I went to a chiropractor and, and worked on it over the year, but I don't know, it's pretty bad this time. <laughs> we'll see. I'm trying to take care of it as best I can. They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. <laughs> this game keeps being super relevant. I get that the devs were Venezuelan, but man. Are there a lot of things that relate to current times in America? Anyway, just yesterday I had to stop a group from rampage of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. All right. Seems my vehicle's here to pick me up. You coming, say? Nah, I'll stay here just a little bit longer. Okay, then. Take care. No, Stella, come back. Wait. I love you. 
No. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, I just discovered today that there's a secret drink, but I don't know. I was afraid to give it to Stella because I didn't want to mess things up. But the next, I'm, I'm gonna give it to her, I think. Because I, I gave it to the person that came in before Stella, and they didn't like it. Yeah, this is like a dystopian setting, and the White Knights are like the police force or whatever. Like, this city is, it's like, isolated, and the authority in the city is like... Like, they were talking about banning protesting and stuff like that. Like, it's getting more and more authoritarian as the days go by. So, it's getting a little dicey. She's such a worrywart. <laughs> That just means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things <laughs> absorb the smell of what's nearby. I got, you must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. <laughs> We, we just have bacon back here. <laughs> I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing and that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Oh yeah, this is Venezuela for sure. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that as if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. Zaibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. It's something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting from them moving to the BTC. Yeah, that sounds plausible. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately, they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? Am I right? <laughs> it hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed me to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton, you'd never give the wrong message. But it's it's his intention that counts. Oh. I take it your character is just an observer to the chaos. Yeah, it's interesting, because, like, your character is not important or the center of any of this at all. You're just, like, a bartender that, you know, people all, of all kinds wander into bars after work and stuff. So, it's interesting, because you meet all kinds of people from all walks of life in this weird dystopian, like, city-state thing that's happening. Very weird. And, like, between your days at work, when you're at home, you can, like... First of all, you can buy things for your apartment and decorate it, which is really cute. I'm not- I'm still not sure if you can decorate it in the sense where you can choose where things go in your apartment. I don't know yet. I just know you can buy stuff and it shows up in your apartment. It's real cute. But also you can like read the news and like read what's essentially like 4chan uh, image boards, uh, etc. And like keep up with what's going on on the internet. And it's adorable and really interesting. Like you don't have to do it. Oh yeah, I did click the, the TV screen. Oh, this one's new, actually. As a former bartender, it's fun all the different types of people you meet. Oh yeah, I've never, I've never worked as a bartender, but when I was much, much younger, I started out. My first uh, line of work was uh, barista, 
So it's like the other end of things. Like baristas deal with all kinds of people in the morning, bartenders at night. You make drinks, you get tips. You just don't have to deal with drunk people, but you do have to deal with cranky people that haven't had their caffeine yet. I'm glad that I'm not in that business anymore because my current profession, I don't really have to deal with customers that much and I get to work with my hands and make stuff. But, um, I do sometimes miss the, how interesting, like, the clientele was. Dude, baristas totally get tips. I relied on tips. It was actually a really smart thing, like, versus waitressing or whatever, because barista is, like, the one position when you're younger that you can work and get an hourly wage, like, a normal hourly wage, and then tips on top of that. Plus, I just really like coffee. And it's not too gross. Like, because you're in food, but not really. Anyways, sorry I got off track. That happens. Oh snap, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. It's Dorothy! Oh snap, we need uh, a laugh track for your sitcom entrance. There you go. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on! You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Eh? Eh? Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? <laughs> Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. Alright. Two blue fairies are due. So ominous. I should do the variety of voices you do. I uh, Sometimes I feel bad because I don't put as much effort into doing voices when I stream as much as I do when I'm offline. I don't know what it is about streaming. But yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, You know what it is, though, is that it, it always makes me feel better when Sid's here. And Sid hasn't been here, and that makes me sad. Hey, optional chromatrine. Let's get them drunk. Um... Four is good, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I said I was going to give them a special drink. Uh, oh, crap. What do you guys think? Should I give them the, the secret drink? They asked for two blue fairies, but like, what if they gave them this drink that's on fire? Mm, well, no, Dorothy will ask for another drink for sure, right? So far, everybody always asks for at least two drinks. Let's do that. Oh wait, I didn't actually mix them. Aged and mixed. Aged and mixed. How is Sid recovering? Not. We still haven't gotten Sid in to do surgery yet, but we're working on it. We're trying. We're trying to get Sid in as as soon as possible. Cause right now it is not a fun time. They are in quite a bit of pain. Sid has a bunch of wisdom teeth that have been impacted, so talking is not fun for them right now. <laughs> Guess I would like a single plum floating in perfume floating in a man's hat. Coming right up! You got it, dude. I'm trying to get through this one day. Uh, I keep getting distracted. My bad. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. 
I think I actually gave Say a blue fairy the last time that she was here, just because I was like, hey, it's blue, like you! Yeah, I'm not sure if it's all four wisdom teeth, but I'm, I think it is. It, it's definitely more than one. I think it'll be about a month or so before anything can be done, unfortunately. But I will give Sid your love, because I know f that they super miss all of you. It's been killing them that, that we haven't been able to stream together. So what's your name, sweetie? <laughs> Call me Say. All right, Say, I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> say, Say. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> say, Say. <laughs> say, Say. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl's simple to a fault. How so? You're the what-you-see-is-what-you-get type. That look in your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here, and what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So, if you invited me to drink, it's because you found me cute, and that's the extent of it. I believe you. Damn. She's good. You say that she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the Lilum with the two with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. <laughs> he looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I could tell your body's heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Uh-oh. Your tongue is at BEV069. Nice. With DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing is your hands. Uh, what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD-113 of the Realta Industries. A model designed to shoot classified bullets from its fingertips. <laughs> She's getting read like a book. Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations of Modifications Law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilization designation has, that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will either be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. Oh, shit. What are you gonna do? Oh, nothing. Huh? Eh? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Oh. I want to know, though. Why go through with that upgrade? Nah, girl's got to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I... I guess? The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. So you could get a small bod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming that they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. 
Oh, I see. Well, I've gotta go. Oh, yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Please come again. Wait, did you get your helmet? Oh, <laughs> I thought she was gonna take me away. I would put my mind on the vacuum cleaner for three years. Two if I behaved well. Man, that's what happens when you underestimate people. Jeez. <laughs> what did you think would happen, bro? Though I am tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue, really? <laughs> oh, snaps, Arrow! What's up, Arrow? How have you been? Thanks for your bitties. Oh yeah, you can tell. Her, I could see her having like bullets coming out of her fingertips. Uh, so yeah, extra flexible joints. Wait, did I just see that her tongue vibrates? I didn't mean to skip by that. That's important. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tool to trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. All right then. So you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all. Mm, not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilim. Is it Lilim or Lilim? I'm not really sure. What can you say about me then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. That's inaccurate. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know who won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past? Uh-oh, she's on to me. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. <laughs> oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on that professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stall for some time. No, just go. Fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. <sighs> artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to this bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? <sighs> well, for some reason... I've just been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then was... Jill trying to pull your hand out of a jar. She, she, is she a prostitute? Yes, actually. <laughs> My roommate actually got the slut t-shirt that Jill has in the game. I want that shirt! I love that shirt. I want that shirt so bad. It's especially funny because how it, it, how just how much it doesn't apply to me. I want to wear it. <laughs> oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. 
I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey, Jill, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, so that brings me to the random thought. That incident and the helmet yesterday and the many times your foot got stuck in something for stopping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. And then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched that S2 piece with, with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's on to something here. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for the day. <laughs> I like to think that she'll make an effort to avoid getting stuck in things now. I want to believe. Yay! See, I'm way past my bedtime, but I wanted to get through that day. Because I feel like this game is perfectly parsed out to stream in segments of game in-game days. Oh, snappity, I made bank. Oh, yeah, my fucking ac account got charged. Is it my birthday? Happy not birthday. Okay, never mind. Yo, hi, Crystal! Yeah, this game is gorgeous, and the soundtrack is, like, amazing. This entire soundtrack slaps. Like, what the hell? I love it. I don't even think I've listened to all the music yet. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm way past... I went way over. Um, so I'm gonna have to save now and call that a stream. But I'm super glad that I went back to it. Even though I was kind of forced back to it because of my arm. Uh, it was it, it was overdue anyway. Hopefully I'll recover from whatever this is uh, relatively quickly. Because I'm also eager to get back to Fist of the North Star. So yeah. Um, I'm going to leave that there and find you as a super cool host to hang because I'm sure somebody cool is online that we can hang out with for the night. And thanks everybody for being here and stuff. I appreciate your faces and um, it's been nice catching up with all of you. I've missed you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic night.